Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be looking at the EcoFlow. We, much like everybody else, trying to do something that we can do to have a little bit of a backup. Um, we looked into the generators. We do have natural gas here at our house, but um, to be real honest with you, we weren't happy with the, uh, the initial cost of those um, to power our whole house. To, we could get one that would power a little bit less of our house, but it didn't decrease the cost that much. So we looked at the big generators, the big uh, natural gas or propane generators, weren't really happy with them. As the name of the channel would suggest, we do live in a suburban area, and so I was a little concerned about getting one of those internal combustion engines. If the power goes out or something, then we let everybody know that we've got power. Um, to be real honest with you, I was a little skeptical of that. So um, we decided to go with the EcoFlow. We saw it on Wrangler Star's channel. If any of you are subscribers of his, he is a big proponent of, of them. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're a sponsor of his channel. This is a non-sponsored uh, endorsement. I'm not endorsing anything. We paid for this with our own money. Um, we ended up, we got a really good deal from them over the Christmas break. So we got the EcoFlow Delta Max and four solar panels. And so what we're gonna be doing today is you're gonna see me unbox it. This is completely brand new. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the solar panels. I'm gonna set up all four. And as you can see with the sunglasses, it's a really bright sunny day here. There's actually, gosh, actually not a cloud in the sky at the moment. But what you're gonna do is I'm gonna set it up this morning before I go into work and then I'm gonna let it charge throughout the whole day. I have no idea how much charge is on this right now. You'll see it whenever I unbox it. We'll see how much charge it's got and then I'll let it charge the whole day. Um, I'm down to one tiny dog. You can't see her over there, but um, I don't have any issues with dogs or anything like that in the backyard. We have a southerly facing backyard, so it's actually really optimal for us for solar panels. So what you're gonna get to see is under optimal conditions in, this is January, I will tell you, it's middle of January, um, in central Texas on a bright sunny day, how much charge four solar panels can get. So let's get to the unboxing, let's see what we've got inside. All right, so let's, let's see what we've got in here. Um, like I said, we did order this back in I don't know, late part of December, early part of January. And we did get this on a deal. So we, because we got it on such a good deal, we saved several hundred bucks. I don't know if that deal is still going on. Like I said, I am not a sponsored endorser of, um, of EcoFlow at all. This is all my own money. We spent this, wow, that's it. So there you go. That is it. So you got the digital side over here. You got your USB fast charges. You got your on off switch. And then on this, you have six plugs. Oh, good. You have some adapters there. Um, some fast and slow. I have no idea. I haven't read the instructions. I have no idea what most of this is. Oh, huh. huh, it's a 12 volt. So that's, there you go, that's the sides. Let's see at the bottom, nothing on the bottom. All right, again, this is the EcoFlow Max. Um, we did not go with the Pro because it just jumped up in price so much. It was beyond what we, what we needed. Um, and it, we just couldn't justify the cost increase. So let's get this fired up and let's see what we've got. So this is the problem whenever you open things outside with sunglasses, you totally miss important stuff. So this looks like, I don't know, some sort of adapters, instruction manual kit. Let's find out what, what it is. By the way, while I'm opening this, not also not sponsored. I know it's not a 940, but it's a 941. My favorite knife of all time. And I almost cut my finger off. 
So let's see what we've got. Okay, some adapter cables. It's a 12 volt adapter cable. By the way, I just wanna say, even though there's a lot of wire here, it feels like good heavy gauge wire. More adapter cables. I bet this is the charger. Yep, that is the charger. Although we're not gonna be using that today. We're gonna to be using the solar panels. Uh, I need to register, get my 24 month warranty. Looks like the instruction manuals. Um, oh, even more adapter cables. And, oh, solar panel, solar panel instruction kit. We do have four of these, so we're gonna, we're gonna test this bad boy out today. Can't be as easy as a three-step process, can it? Find my MC4 port, connect the ports together, connect the solar panel to the port, and there you go. It can't be that easy, can it? Hmm. We're going to find out shortly, though. So, that's what is in the box. I'm always afraid to do this because I'm afraid I'm going to cut stuff that doesn't need to be cut. Okay, so this is my only problem with them so far. They sealed the instruction manual so close that you're gonna almost cut the instruction manual trying to get it out. So it does have a 24 month warranty, which I will register later. Oh, it's a separate piece of paper. So there you go. That's the instruction manual. It's really short, shockingly. Huh. All right, there you go. That's what's in the box. Charger, solar, and then you got the 12 volt, and then I forget what that is. Doesn't really matter. I'll read about it later. But that's what's in the box. All right, so welcome back outside. I'm hoping the sun allows this. I wanted to see the very first on. So this is your main power button here. They have individual power buttons to turn on and off the chargers. We'll get into usage maybe in a different video, but um, it's a short press to turn it on. So, so there you go. It came to me with 29%. I don't know if you can see that or not. So there you go. That is the very first time I've ever turned it on. So it came to me at 29%. All right, so I feel like I immediately regret doing this out here. Lighting is bad, but we're gonna do it anyway. So, this is what we got. These are the solar panels. Um, we did get four of them because that was the deal. Let's see what we can do here. That's the easiest way to get this joker open. Oh, I think I've messed up already, folks. No, maybe not. Let's see if I can poke it out from one side. I don't want to rip the whole box. All right, so this is what we've got. We got the EcoFlow 160 watt solar panels. So just to let everyone know, whenever you go onto the EcoFlow website, you can order either the 110 or the 160. And we got a deal for the 160. So we will be testing this with four 160s in series. That's oh, a really nice packaging. You know, it's funny because I had been wondering how in the world was I gonna store these when not in use? Well, I think that answers my question. 
as I throw these boxes around, I don't know if anybody is a Casey Neistat uh, in, uh, subscriber, that's the word, but I've, Casey Neistat always throws things around. So this is it. This is everything right there. Huh. So that is one full solar panel. It does fold out into fours, which we got the full capacity on it. Um, Let's move around, get in some better light, maybe get out in the in the grass and we'll open this joker up. All right, so I fully understand that the lighting on this is not the best. And I'm dragging my microphone cord around everywhere. Tell you what, you get what you pay for, folks. You're watching it for free, you get an amateur to do it. So this is what happens. But let's see what's in the going down anymore? Nope, it does not. One side zips all the way. Well, wow. okay. I guess that's a protective panel. Some sort of it looks like Chinese, I think, writing. Uh, I did not purchase it through Amazon. Some basic instructions on how to open it up. I'll put these in a little intro there. Some basic how it works and then it moves on into other languages. Okay so it seems pretty straightforward. Looks like it has a little kickstand. Maybe that's... Okay so here's what we've got. So we've got our positive and our negative. Okay, so that's, I guess the male and female ends. We'll differentiate it. Okay, so there we go. That is what the full solar panel looks like. It's weird, it's got a, it's not hard like, I mean, it's, it's firm, but it's got like, Got an odd texture about it. All right, well, I'm fixing to go open the, open the other ones, get these put together in series, and then we'll start charging. All right, so this is one of the benefits of reading the instructions. In the instructions, you will see that you have protective case and kickstand. So I was wondering how I was going to have these stand up. So this, you know, I told you it's got a firm side, it's got a soft side. This firm side will actually work as our kickstand. So let's go open the other four, get them all set up and get going because I have got to get into my actual job. So let's go get on it. All right, so this is what I ended up going with. I've got four panels each. So I will say they do have little clips. They've got clips top and bottom. They'll hold it into the, the kickstand, so to speak. So this is what it looks like from the back. I will say when you have four of them, you have to get a little creative with how you wire them. So you gotta wire them in series. So that one goes to this one, goes to this one, goes to this one. And then you connect the positive of that one to the negative of this one. And then you go back into the, uh, into the main system. So, just so I don't trip over anything, let's go around the long way. So I've got everything plugged in. You'll see back there. So everything is plugged in. And this is what I'm looking at right now. Okay, still at 29%. I'm bringing in on 460 watt panels at about eight o'clock in the morning. I'm bringing in about 190 watts on average. As you can see, if you've got the idea of going with solar panels, I've got about as good a setup as you can possibly get here. I will say I do have some shade right now because early in the morning I do, have, I do have some big trees, but that will go away at the end of the day. I'm sorry, I will not be able to do a time lapse on this. I will not be able to set up I would really like to set up something on that to be able to check midday um, when I'm getting a lot of direct sunlight. You know what? I may come home at lunch. 
I'd like to come home at lunch and check that out. That way I can give a little bit better detail on it. But 460 watt panels at eight o'clock in the morning in Central Texas on like you saw, on a beautiful sunny day, pulling in about 190 watts. So, you know, I'd, I'm at 400 and uh, gosh, I'm at almost 800 potential watts and I'm pulling in 190. So you do the math on that. Not a very high percentage, but again, it's eight o'clock in the morning. So we'll see where it goes from this afternoon. All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's see, it is now 12.05 on the afternoon of Tuesday, the 16th of January. Again, beautiful sunny day. We do have a few clouds rolling in. I do have some trees, but as you'll notice, all of my panels are still in the sunshine. Um, as a flashback, we were at 29% this morning at about eight o'clock. Actually, no, I left at about nine. Uh, so I finished up, I, time got away from me this morning. So I left about nine. So in three hours, well, there we go. In three hours, we are up to 52% and ranging between four, three, four, five hours remaining. Okay. Um, the clouds just came by. Ooh, you can see it really drops down on the, the power output, but I was ranging between, I have no idea what's going on now. It's still sun. Well, maybe, I guess a little bit of clouds really makes a big difference because whenever I came back in and checked on it, I was at 52% and we were clocking in at around 500 watts. So we're gonna give it just a second. So, Again, we've still got the four. The wind did pick up, and I will say whenever I came in, this panel had flipped in, so it wasn't getting the full wattage. Um, so you really, I would say, you really kind of got to be careful with how you set these up. Um, I didn't do any of the, so you can see, I didn't do any of the, um, the carabiners on the bottom. You might want to do that. So I would say maybe try the carabiners on the bottom. Um, let's check in on this again. Wake up. So we're at 150 watts or so now. Let me pause the video. Let me let the cloud clear off. Go back to a sunny day. Oh, wait, I feel the sun coming up. You felt it jump up. It's amazing. It really responds to direct sunlight. Now we're at 260, you see us jumping up. Sun's coming up again. Came up from behind the clouds and we are up, wow, way above, jumping up way above 500. So again, we're in the afternoon. And we are at 600, wow, that's amazing. So we're at 600 watts. You know, if we can keep producing 600 watts, we'll be charged in no time. But that's where we are. Again, it's about 10 minutes after. You see our sun cleared up finally. So we're producing 600 watts. One of the things I have noticed is it does have the auto fan come on. So let me see if I can get this to pick up. So that's the auto fan keeping it cool. I will say one of the issues that I've run into, and I would I would recommend a change, but the cord where you actually plug in the solar panels to the unit is relatively short. I would say it's probably I don't know, six, <clears throat> excuse me, six maybe an eight foot cord uh, when you include the the connectors but it's relatively short. I would like a longer cord. That way I can keep the unit in the house. Um, Cause right now, if this were a, a scenario for us, I've got my solar panels outside. I've got my unit outside. I would like for my unit to be inside. That way I can manage my cords a little bit better, but 
we are what we are so we're back out in the sunshine let's get it again before we are done here yep. we're at about 550 so it's looking pretty good all right so i'm fixing to go get me something to eat head back into work and i'll come check on it this afternoon we'll see where we stand all right so it's a full day i'm back from my real job it is now uh, about a quarter to six uh, you can see it's much darker in the day i left all the solar panels just as a, as they were i didn't tend to them i didn't follow track the sun or anything because i was at my real job which pays the bills um, but let's see what we've got so i just unplugged it i haven't checked it all right so we are at 80 percent so i got it this morning it was 28 percent um, pretty sunny day unattended solar panels and the ecoflow delta max went from with 460 watt solar panels i went from 28 percent to 80 in a day granted i wasn't pulling any power from anything i wasn't charging anything i didn't have any output but everything going in um not bad all in all i'd say up to about 80 percent fully charged so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and plug it in and uh, see how long it takes to get on you know my my 120 110 uh, how long it takes to get uh, fully charged but that's for me that's the end of this video i think for the purposes of this video with people looking into the solar you know really i think i think this video served its purpose so um you know about 50 percent charge on a sunny day in central texas granted you know i started around nine ish got everything hooked up got everything going probably wasn't optimal with my trees i probably lost i would say i probably lost a lot of sun around two o'clock because uh, whenever you know whenever i saw it at lunch it was you know running 500 watts coming in but then what i didn't show you is whenever i left i had a meeting i had a zoom meeting here at the house um, from one to about two so i left at about two o'clock and then the way the sun traveled i was down about 113 and so i would say i didn't gain much um probably didn't gain much wattage after about two o'clock this afternoon if i could have moved things around i probably could have done a lot better but um you know 80 percent by the end of the day is not bad for not having tended to it and just kind of set it up for good video um you know i i think i want to say i was at pretty close to 70 percent at two o'clock so yeah i lost most of everything after that so you know when things are optimal it was charging like crazy things got less optimal as they are with most solar panels you know they got suboptimal pretty quickly so um there you go take it for what it is 50 percent charge and i would say that probably went mostly from 10 o'clock to about two o'clock for me anyway um again if you want to track it if you want to do it different times of the year which you know for me i may do it this summer and see what we can get but in january in central texas that's what we can get thanks for watching hope this has been helpful please be sure to like and subscribe it'll help us out a lot um we'll see you on the next video